This has gone viral. Joe Rogan is showing support for Kanye West. Before we get into the Kanye West updates, Joe Rogan has gone viral for supporting um, Kanye West and having a joke, uh, which I think was, it's a funny joke. It's a funny joke um, because of the t- situation that's happening right now with the past Palestine and Israel. But some people thought it was obviously distasteful. They think that he's he's like a Zionist and this and that. Let's check out, uh, not, not a Zionist, my apologies, but... Um, that he is uh, anti-Semitic. anti-Semitic, anti-Semitism. We uh, we play this one song in the green room when we really want to get things popping. The I'm going to jail song. I'm trying to find a chain. I'll send it to oh, you. Yeah, guess who's going yeah, to jail tonight? Guess who's going to jail tonight? Yeah, it's a good I'm, song. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that song rocks. Yeah, One of the best songs I've done. It's just called jail. <laughs> jail. This is it. You going to tell me Kanye's downfall wasn't predicted once he did something with Lil Pump? <laughs> this nigga's I mean, hilarious, but he's not lying. Uh, so now listen to this statement by Joe Rogan. I mean, you gotta let a guy like this get out of line every now and again. Yeah. He's that's what makes him so brilliant. He's got a tornado going on in his mind. <laughs> yeah. There's a tornado in there yeah, at any given time. Yeah. Bro. When he was Do doing the podcast, when he was doing the podcast, unfortunately yeah. Jamie got COVID, so he couldn't be here. Got to pause it for corporate copyright because I didn't know they played the whole song for him. For it, but you know what he wanted to do? What, what Kanye he wanted to do? He didn't like my set. It was my old set. Keep it. Oh, I remember that. He wanted to um. Keep going. I was down. He he didn't like my old set, so he, he wanted, wanted to redesign the whole design the, the Rogan set for him. Build a set to do the podcast. Oh, this. So I thought you were talking about stand up. I was like, no, God no, damn. he wanted to build a set. Yeah. So I said, what do you want to do? For that like, episode in For the episode yeah. only. I like, go. What do you want to do? He goes. Uh, I want to build a womb. I want to do the podcast in a womb. I said, let's go. I go, let's a womb. Do it. No problem. Let's yeah. do it. Okay, build a womb. <laughs> and so that was the plan. And then Jamie got COVID. Sub for him. Red Band came in, sub for him. Nice. It's like, everyone thought I was going to die. I was stuck in a room for a week. Oh, yeah, damn. He wasn't allowed to have contact with people. Yeah. Also, what better time to be mad at Juice? <laughs> That's wow. <a> good <laughs> That's mad funny, though. <laughs> what better time to be mad, mad at Juice? <laughs> Than right now, yeah. because of the issues niggas that are going gonna, on. This nigga's gonna stand by you, bro. Yo, they're Joe? dying though. I'm like shocked. Like this is a, this is one of the darkest jokes that Joe's Joe says a lot of crazy jokes, but this is one of the darkest ones he's done in a while. I'm gonna be honest with you. He ain't wrong. <laughs> You're making a good point. I mean, because he does them on stage, but his guests usually say the dark jokes. Recently, I've been noticing like in the past year, not him. Culturally. <laughs> And the there drinking was, br- Bud Light is crazy. With Kanye screaming, guess song. who's going to this jail tonight? <laughs> Break Kanye the glory. Now we're playing. Now we're doing a podcast. Yeah, let's go. Drinking. So they're just playing a bunch oh of Kanye songs. This is huge. It's going crazy online. People are like, damn, Joe Rogan's co-signing you know, Kanye with that joke, and it's gone viral. Joe Rogan's a comedian. Joe Rogan's a comedian first. He's a comedian that started a podcast, and other comedian friends of him have created podcasts because of him. He's like an olive brancher. If he would have been a podcast network, he would have been the first trillionaire in the world. I, I genuinely believe that. Like, he would have made so much money off of these other podcasts. But he's genuinely just a friend that just helps his friends out create their podcast. He doesn't want to create a network. Um, and look at him now. $250 million contract with Spotify. Supposedly going to sign on maybe again. Or he might become independent again. If he becomes independent again, oh boy, the market is going to shift again. People are going to be, it's going to be crazy. Because Joe Rogan's not right now on Apple Podcasts. Google, any other podcast is on Spotify exclusive. So if he breaks that contract, it's going to be huge. His influence is going to to keep getting bigger. I think about 11 million people listen to him every single week. Um, And he's co-signing Kanye West. Now will he have Kanye West back on, right? With the time that we're in right now? Probably. It's going to be a bold move if he does, you know? And I think he will because of this joke right here. Because it's showing like, oh, okay. He really is like, okay. And we've spoken about that in the past where it's like, this guy's a genius. Every genius is crazy. Should we just let them be a bit crazy because he's a genius? And like I told you, I feel like people are going to forgive Kanye as long as the music's good. As long as he drops like a classic, some crazy shit, which we're going to talk about right now. People will forgive him and move on because he hasn't done any crime. Kanye West has not hurt nobody physically, hasn't abused nobody as of right now. Right. Thank God. It's crazy. Right. He hasn't done like any actual like criminal behavior. It's just been very controversial, and in my opinion, dumb shit. Dumb ass shit. Greatest artist of all time, of this generation, saying dumb ass shit, 
it, it disappointed me. It started with the whole the the red hat and then calling Trump his dad, et cetera, and being his, looking at him in the, in the White House as a dad. And like, oh, all right. And black people weren't, uh, we, we chose to be slaves. Slavery was a choice and there's a whole shit and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. It started a trend where I'm looking at it like, oh, Kanye is just really pushing on against like popular opinions to become controversial, right? The recent one, hey, I'm going to wear a black KKK hat instead of a white one at the listening party, which we're going to talk about. And it's like, oh, he's just doing this shit on, like, on purpose, you know? Even though within his, his, his actual like, takes, he has good points. Like last year when he went at the Netanyahu and stuff, great points, right? Look very like foreshadowing. Look at where we are now with Israel, right? But siding with Hitler... And like saying he likes Nazis, that was where it's like, hold up, wait a minute. You're trying to push that too far. Where it's like, I get it. Overall, found found fundamentally, he he means well. Like, yeah, we're all equal. Yeah, no one necessarily should be dying. We shouldn't want to kill each other, right? Yeah, I get that. But then, does it mean like? Hitler is all right, and the Nazis are like it doesn't mean that because they were destructive. They killed all these specifically genocide. Like it was a genocide. Like you shouldn't coincide. Like it's hypocritical for him to say that and then defend right now, which he's kind of been alluding to even in his new rant, which we're going to talk about as well. Play a clip from it. You know, with the Palestine and Israel conflict, Hamas conflict, the war, the genocide that's happening right now with the Palestinian people, right? Why would you say Hitler's okay? Because technically isn't Netanyahu just another version of a new modern version of a per se Hitler, right? So that's where the hypocrisy lies with Kanye. Um, but yeah, any take real quick, Noel, before we get into the Kanye rant and the music that we he's dropping? Yeah, so I think Joe Rogan is wrong. I think you shouldn't just let someone who has demonstrated us that he does have a, a genius to him allow his mental illness to just run loose and the reason why is because there's a perfect example of Kurt Cobain now this, there's a conspiracy obviously that Kurt Cobain didn't kill himself his wife killed him I don't believe it I think Kurt Cobain killed himself and I think people there have been other people in the past like Van Gogh who has bipolar disorder and he cut his ear off and he ended up dying a miserable death yeah, yeah. later on in his life um, I think those type of examples show us what happens when you just let mental illness run loose yeah the ultimate ending of this story would probably be Kanye West killing himself or dying in some way. When it comes to his rants, I think people are trying really hard to make sense of it. Yeah. And that's what frustrates me. It's like they 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 break it down and they're like, oh, look at this and look what he said here. Specifically when, his fans. His fans specifically, of course. Trying to find genius in it. Yes. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, my time being in a hospital with other people with mental illness, especially bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, Kanye West sounds just like them. He sounds deluded. He sounds like he's just saying things. He's ranting. Nothing is cohesive because there is no cohesive thought. Like you're trying to rationalize it to like legitimize him and legitimize his genius. And you're just further hindering him because you're not acknowledging, yo, nobody talks like this. Yeah. Nobody acts like people don't act like this. Normal people don't act like this. Maybe he does need help. Like that would be your rational thought if you weren't so desperately trying to prove his genius. And when it comes to like, the Nazi shit and the Hitler shit, I see this on Twitter a lot. People say borderline and bipolar doesn't make you anti-Semitic. Shut the fuck up. This is what pisses me off the most. Autism, though. He says he has autism. He's autism. He's, he, that's what he says he has. Everything Kanye does, I truly believe, is aligned with this deranged mentality he has in his head. And when you argue that his mental illness isn't the reason he's saying these things and acting this way. You're delegitimizing his mental illness. You don't have the right to say that. You don't know what's going on in his head. Yeah. Bipolar affects people differently. It affected me differently. It affected my mother differently. You can't speak on someone's mental illness. I can only assume if you are not on medication and you've already been confirmed to have a mental illness that affects the way you think, the way you rationalize, the way you act, I can no longer take anything you say legitimately. Yeah. You, like, you, you're, you're, you're discounted. I think people pick and choose when to hold him accountable. I think his fans do when they try to justify his genius. And I think his critics choose when to acknowledge his mental illness when they want to criticize him. 